today we're gonna be making a pizza. Um, as promised, I had said, told you guys like on a couple of videos I was gonna make a pizza, and here we are to deliver today. Um, so we're gonna start out with a double zero flour. Um, this this is a flour that was recommended by Smoky Ribs. If you ever checked out his uh, channel, if you haven't seen any of his pizzas, he makes some phenomenal pizzas, and I got this idea from him. Um, it's a double zero flour, low moisture flour, so um, no sugar is added to this recipe. And this will be a high temperature. You can cook this crust at a high temperature and not burn it. And that's why I like it. Cause sometimes you're gonna get the Kamado up to six, seven, 800 degrees. And you know, on accident, you know, it gets just up that high. And then with this flour, you can't really burn it. So, um, you know, there's a lot of science behind it. I'm not a science guy, but um, no sugar in it. That helps. So uh, this is a sugarless uh, recipe when you wanna make your, your, uh, or your pizzas. Um, you can get this off Amazon. Um, I think it's five or six dollars a bag and get about three or four pizzas out of one bag. So um, comes out really, really good. And you guys will see today how good it comes out. Um, it's just it makes an amazing pizza. So um, anyways, I'm gonna kind of go over you got with you guys the ingredients. I am not gonna pour each ingredient out for you and show you. I may do that in another future video, but today we're gonna keep it really simple. I'm just gonna kind of tell you guys what I did, how I did it, and how we got to the point we got to. So. What we did was we mixed 500 grams of this flour. Um, I have my scale right here and I can measure in grams. I zeroed it out and I just turned my grams on. So um, I poured my flour in there. I got up to my 500 grams and I transferred it to this bowl. Uh, once I did that, I came back with my kosher salt and I did 14 grams of this. Measured it out, poured it in my bowl, got up to 14 grams, poured it in my other bowl of my flour. Uh, then my next ingredient was one gram of active yeast. We've got the refrigerated kind, but you can get the packs. Sam sells a huge, big one, you can, and you can get the individual packs too. So, um, but this one is refrigerated and we did one gram of that on our scale. Boom, moved it over, moved it over to our bowl. So now I will measure this part out for you guys. We're gonna do water. Um, we are going to do 350 grams of hot water. So. That equals out to about one and a half cups. If you're going the cup route, I don't suggest it because with grams, you can get a precise recipe every single time. With measuring the cups, you might, you're probably not gonna get that with the cups. You're gonna have a different batch every time your recipe is gonna come out every time. Your pizza's not gonna be consistent. Um, but if you do the grams, you're pretty much, it's fail proof. I mean, you're gonna have the same amount of flour in there every time, the same amount of yeast in there every time. And the pizza's just gonna come out so much better. And we love our pizza. Mamma mia, we love our pizza. Sorry, I'm not from Italy, but hey, I gave y'all the best impression I could right now. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this hot water in this cup. And I got my little thermal probe. If you got a little, it's not like the real fancy thermal pen that all the guys use, but you know, it works. I think I got this from Academy for like 10 bucks or something. But uh, we'll go ahead and measure it out. Might take it a minute here for this water to come down. Um, we'll get a little more there. Let's see what we got right here. I'll tell you what, making a homemade pizza is so much better than going out to get it. Um, just something about homemade pizza. It's just, it's just amazing. So this isn't print to, uh, this isn't at 100 degrees. So I want to make sure I get at least 100 degrees. I want to make sure that water activates that yeast. So bear with me, guys. It may take me a minute to get my water warm here. We have made so many pizzas at home, had so much fun with it. Me and my wife do this every Friday. We really, really enjoy it. Not just the, you know, eating the pizza, but it's just fun to make. It's fun to spend time with your family. It's fun to just, um, just to do something with your family. Cooking with your family is fun. And that's what this channel is really about. It's about having fun. I'm a normal guy, just doing normal things. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fancy cook here. I'm not, I don't have all the flashy cameras. I don't have splash, flashy sponsorships. Um, I just enjoy cooking and I enjoy doing really good food in my backyard and 
that's really what it's just all about, man. It's all about having good fun with your family and, and enjoying that time and making some really good food for them at the same time. We're at about 108. So we need to come down just a little bit. We don't want to put too, too much hot water in here. We're at about 107. I tell you what, guys, I'm gonna come back when this gets down to 105. We're gonna pour it in the bowl and we'll let y'all see how it looks. Be right back. All right, guys, back. Um, we got our, our water's about 104 right now, so we're gonna go ahead and dump it in here. And uh, we're gonna start mixing it a little bit. I'm gonna start mixing it with a spoon, but I'm gonna have to get in there with my hands in here in just a minute and start mixing it. Well guys, normally we can get about two pizzas out of this. Um, smaller pizzas usually, but if you want a bigger pizza, just make this recipe times two. But we'll show you guys here in a little bit what it actually looks like, um, what size, and then you can you know decide for yourself if that's gonna be a big enough pizza for you. If not, you just double up the recipe. This pizza comes out good though. And I know it looks like, it looks real tacky and sticky and stuff, but once you get it going and it rises, it's not that bad. And it actually stretches really good on you. Um, that's one good thing about this pizza is it actually stretches without tearing, which in some of your all purpose flour pizzas, that's not the case. Okay, so what I'll end up doing is I'll end up transferring this to another bowl. I'm gonna get the ball here. It's kind of sticking to me a little bit. Kind of form it into a ball here. It is a little tacky though. But as you can see, it's forming into a decent ball there. All right, well, let me wash my hands here and then I'll put some olive oil in this bowl and we're gonna put it in the bowl and we're gonna let it rise. We'll cover it and we'll let it rise. And while that's rising, we're gonna get the Kamado Joe fired up. Old Red, she's ready to go, baby. She's ready for the weekend. So this is the kickoff to Friday. This is the kickoff to the fun, to barbecue paradise. The fun to be had, baby. We're going to have the, the Kamado rolling. She'll probably take about 20 to 30 minutes to get up. It may take longer. It may not. We'll, we'll see once we get out there. Um, but normally, here we go. I'll uh, put some olive oil in here, grease this pan a little bit. Nothing's, nothing fancy. And then I'm going to move that over. So I'm going to move that over. We're going to get the grill going. And uh, we'll be back in a little bit to show you guys how to roll these pizzas out and put the toppings all on them and get them on the grill. See y'all in a little bit, don't y'all go nowhere. All right guys, so we're back. Um, we let our, our dough rise for two hours. Um, and this is what we got. Uh, came out pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to roll this thing out. Um, we're gonna do one pizza. Sometimes we do two out of this much of a recipe, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to do one. Wife said go big or go home tonight, so we're gonna do a big one. So I'm gonna try to not, not tear this. this. is definitely not what we wanna do, so. I like to spin it and push out as I spin. My hands are getting a little sticky here. Put a little bit more on here to help 
was. Twist. Pull it. Twist. Pull it. All right, everybody, we had a little problem rolling it out with our hands today. It was, it was tearing and just not doing right today. And sometimes it just doesn't work for you like that. So we took the rolling pin to it and I didn't show you guys that, but um, that's what we did. We showed, or uh, we uh, we took the rolling pin and just rolled it out flat. And now we're just gonna put our toppings on it. I mean, it's not a perfect circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. This is a homemade pizza. This ain't coming from Pizza Hut. So we're gonna go ahead and just put our sauce on here. I mean, it rolled out really beautifully with that rolling pin. Um, we like a pretty good amount of sauce on our pizza, so. Um, and all I have here is just a, it's just a great value pizza sauce. I mean, it's nothing, nothing homemade. We didn't go crazy with this. Um, but we like a, a decent amount of sauce. We're probably gonna put more than that on there. We actually like a good bet, so. Not so much as to make the pizza soggy, but And another thing I didn't think to do is I'm gonna get a fork here in a second. I'm gonna poke some holes in this crust. I didn't didn't remember to do that a second ago, but we can do that after we get the sauce on. It's not gonna hurt it. So we'll go ahead and I think that's good enough. I think that's a pretty good amount of sauce. So um, let me get a fork and I'm gonna I'm gonna poke some holes in this. Nothing crazy, just put some holes in it. I think that's probably good. Okay, now we're gonna go on with our cheese here. We're gonna put our cheese, our mozzarella cheese. We got this from Sam's Club. Just got the big old five pound. This is a low moisture. You don't want a lot of moisture in your pizza. You don't want a soggy pizza, so. That's why we go with low moisture. We like a good amount of cheese on our pizza, so put that over here before I drop it. You can put, your, put as much as as little as you want on here. Um, we like a lot of cheese, so we're gonna put a good amount of cheese on here. I love, I love a cheesy pizza. I think we'll put maybe just a little bit more. Kind of outline these edges right here. All right, now we're gonna put some pepperoni on this bad boy. We're gonna use up some of our roll that we have here. We usually use Hormel, but we uh, we had some armor here. We'll use it just to get rid of it. Looks like we missed a little cheese here, so let's put a little bit more cheese right in this area. We're gonna be running our grill at about 550-ish. It, it tends to cook pretty good on about 550, so. You could go a little higher, but you don't wanna go too high. You'll end up burning your pizza. May not come out the way you want it, so. I've been able to get up to about 600 with no problem. But I try to keep it in that 550 range. I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting these pepperonis on this pizza. And then once I get it ready, I'll meet you guys out by the grill. We'll see y'all. All right guys, so here's the pizza. Um, we're getting ready to put it on. I'm almost right at 550 at my target. I'm like right there, so it's, um, it's ready to go. I'm about 540 something, but we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on. I can hardly wait, man, my mouth's watering. Woo, you see my fire down in there? It's roaring, it's ready to go. So we're going to get this bad boy on here. You hear that sizzle? 
Woo, golly. I tell you what, we're going to shut this bad boy up and let it do its thing. Now, what we're going to do is we'll probably let this go for... Normally, I let it go for two, three minutes, and then I turn it. And I'll just keep turning it and turning it, and we'll bring you guys back when we get ready to make our first turn. All right, guys, we, uh, we've crept up to about 600... It's not really that big a deal. Um, I don't believe it's gonna burn or nothing. I mean, I'll show you guys the crust here in a little bit, but I don't like to get too high just in case, you know, because sometimes when you get up over 600, you do, you will burn your pizza sometimes, but um, I think we'll be fine. I think it'll be all right. We're gonna go ahead and just give it a turn. You can see my flames, they're just coming on up. It's cooking up real nice. Um, Cooking up beautiful, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and give this bad boy a turn. Kind of hard doing this with one hand, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. All right, look at that. That is looking beautiful, guys. I mean, look at that beautiful crust so far. It and that's gonna cook. Definitely needs to cook more, but we'll uh, we'll come back in just a minute. Show you guys the next turn. All right, guys, it's been about three minutes since our last turn, so we're gonna give it another turn here. I always wanna burp it so we don't get that flame come flying out at us. Look at that. It's looking really pretty. Really pretty. We definitely wanna get a little bit more of a cook on that crust if we can. Let's look at our bottom. Bottom's looking great, man. It's not burning. A lot of that has to do with that dough. That dough recipe from John Sethler is awesome. All right, we're gonna let this go a little bit longer. We'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, guys, we're back and looking at it through the through the daisy wheel here. Um, man, it's just cooking up so good. You can see the crust is starting to turn colors there. That's exactly what we want. We want that crust to get a little color on it. Looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. And we're uh, we're at about five seventy-five. Five sixty-five somewhere in there. No, we're about 570, excuse me, five, about 570. But, uh, burp the grill here so we don't get burned. Man, look at that. It's coming out really good. Give us another turn. We're gonna let this go just a little longer. It's still not burning, guys. I mean, it's still not burning. This is definitely gonna be a thicker pizza. Um, we like a thin crust, but um, didn't roll this one quite that thin today, so we uh, are really excited about this one, man. It's going to be a dang good pizza, I believe. Let's let this one go a little longer. Next time we see you guys, we're going to pull it out, and we'll show you guys what it looks like. See y'all in a minute. All right, guys, this is the finished product. Um, came out good, man. We got some good color on the crust here. Wish we could have got a little bit better color over here, but I mean, it's, it's a good color pretty much all the way around, except for when I'm on this side of the crust, but I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. Uh, a little bit thicker crust than we normally like to do, uh, but that's probably because we didn't roll it, roll it thinner. I could, probably could have rolled it thinner with the pen, but I didn't. Um, but hey, we'll play with it. Uh, maybe, next, maybe next time we'll cut, cut the dough in half and uh we'll try to get it a little thinner thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel give me a like and uh till next time guys see you eats barbecue treats hey guys welcome to the channel i'm glad y'all could join me today at barbecue eats 